Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. The time for talk is over as we are just mere moments away from the Super Bowl. Two teams now have a chance to prove they are the best. It's the 49ers going up against the Colts. Larry, it has been a wild ride through this 2019 NFL season. Plenty of plot twists and turns at every step. But it all comes to a conclusion tonight as we welcome you to Super Bowl 54 from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gunn along with the man who has had to stick with me all season long, Charles Davis. And Charles, the anticipation, the hype, the media coverage, all in the rearview mirror now. We can finally get down to playing some football. Yeah, don't worry about that part. I'll ride or die with you anytime. <laughs> you know that. But here's the best thing about this. Everyone talks about trying to keep things normal as they approach for Super Bowl. There is no such thing as normal. The pageantry, the hype, all of that is more intense than anyone could ever imagine. What you're trying to do is embrace it in one way and make sure it doesn't totally knock you off your game. That's why the night before the big one, teams often switch hotels, try and give those guys that last chance to breathe a little bit before they go out and play. Super Bowl of the new decade. Super Bowl 54 is underway. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee and he'll take over at the 25. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. The former national champion at Clemson bringing him onto the field. And that's the signal caller, Deshaun Watson. Tremendous. Skillfully from the pocket and can beat you with his mind as well. First carry for Carlos Hyde. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats. But really, should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. They run it again with Hyde. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. And the big boys up front in the trenches, what do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. Three and out, a real danger here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 12. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamar Taylor. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Colts TD. It was third down defensively. They were just hoping to make a play and get off the field, get their offense on. Instead, they did one better. Pick it off, take it into the end zone. Well, they did what you said. They got they off did the get field. Off. They're going to have to come right back on. They're going to come right back on, but happily, right? They put the ball in the end zone. That's the way you start a game. That's the way you set the tone. Dan Bailey now for the extra point. And this is good to make it 7 nothing, Indy. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And San Francisco gets set to go here. Come on, let's go! 
Fresh off the pick six, it's Watson. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down to the hands of the wrong team. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. Here's Thomas Rawls with his first carry. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Here we go now. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And he slings one that's incomplete. Amari Cooper, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. On second down, rolls. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. And able to work his way down to the 16. Eight yards on the ground there, and now they're looking at a third and two. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do? And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Thomas Rolls, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Colts add on to their lead. And there you go, nothing really too complex. Block, keep your assignments, let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking, he's good tackling on that play, and result, touchdown. And it's good to make it 14-0. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's Thomas Rawls who finishes it off with a touchdown run. kick this one away. Guts fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now Deshaun Watson and his offense heading back out there. What a disastrous start for him so far. He's thrown the ball two times, both times intercepted. The heck with his progressions. The heck with what he's seeing downfield. It's really simple, partner. See the color shirts your team's wearing? Throw to those. Not the other color shirt, the color that your team is wearing. That's what the coaches tell them right now. And this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. He got 29 yards that time. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. And they're able to get this one down to the 25. And a nice gain of 21 yards. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. down a run with Hyde and he's going to take this one down to about the 23 yard line 
Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. Let's see what the offense comes with here, second and eight. Gun, Watson. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. They'll run, hide. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two yard line. side as he's knocked down right at the line of scrimmage call it no gain that time and now it's third and goal two straight shots on the ground now on third do you go to the air I think the possibility exists and if you're doing it you're probably going play action since you ran it twice but I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. Well, there's two sides here. I guess you could pinpoint and look at the offense and say, oh, man, what a disaster. Hey, the defense, though, they came through. Preparation's the key to everything. And when you're on the defensive side of the ball and in special teams meetings, you prepare for plays like this. And in this case, they were actually able to win it. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. The drive begins with a run by Rawls. And not much here as he'll get it to the 11, maybe the 12-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. If they want to try that again, go play action, hit him over the top. Now Trubisky to throw. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. The Colts in possession of the football to begin quarter number two. They're up against a third and two to start things out. They run with a power back. Rawls. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Only a yard on the pickup there and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. And partner, when you run the ball on third and two, you're telling the whole world you've got nothing but confidence in your offensive line and your runner, and you expect to get it. But they were stuffed on that play. Only got one yard. Great job by the defensive front, the linebackers. Everyone got involved to force a fourth down. On fourth down, on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. Yeah. 
So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Niners will go on offense first and ten. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. Spinning past him. And some, there goes Duke Johnson. Touchdown, 49ers. Duke Johnson, 68 yards. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly for six. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Here's Phil Dawson now for the point after. And that one makes it 14 to 7. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. Here's Dawson now to kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And he is leveled. Knocked down hard. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. They stay on the ground. Rawls again. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It'll be a loss of one. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you can see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Let's go. Blue From the gun, it's Trubisky. And he'll have his man. That's Cooper. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. Give him 30 yards there. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama and was inquiring about him and his skills, they say it all began back in Miami. He really became a pro receiver at a young age because of his attention to detail and precision. But don't forget his athletic ability. That's what made that catch there. And he did spend one year with Teddy Bridgewater as his quarterback there, so that helped back in high school. Wide open, Amari Cooper. And now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Well, he did what he's known for. He made the catch, then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player, when they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch it, you have to make them pay sometimes. You have to put it on them. Big tackle, knock the ball free. Anything you can do to slow them down. And we focus on Duke Johnson now. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's He's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, 
Use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. He's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it's the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. Now it's Watson. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Ruben Foster not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Going to need something special here on third and long. After that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? A shotgun snap for Watson. Wide open receiver complete. 20. Touchdown, 49ers. A big play there. 75 yards. And the 49ers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be at practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Extra point try now for Dawson. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Yeah, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. And the Colts coming out now. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. They go again with Rawls. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Now they'll throw it with Trubisky. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. It'll be a two-yard game, and that'll make it third down. The Colts on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and four.
reminder, coming up at the intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Larry Ridley and the crew in Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. Throw left side complete. That's Edwards. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. They set up the screen to Rawls. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. We'll give him nine yards on the second down screen play. On third and one, it's Trubisky. Drops it underneath for Rawls. And brought down, but the juke, the very nice juke, gives him the first down yardage there. A gain of 11 that time, and a Colts first down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. First and ten, it's Trubisky. It's caught over the middle, Hooper. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Now this will be the ninth play on this drive. Trubisky to throw again. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. And the seemingly endless drive continues. Second and ten now. It's Trubisky going to Rawls on the dump off. This carry with the extra effort is going to get him stopped up just shy of the ten. It's a gain of seven, and they're going to face a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. The Colts on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This time it's third and three. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And this is caught. It's Cooper. And he's brought down. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And you can almost feel Trubisky saying, let's get to the line and hurry up. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. I know it's a defensive back. I was taught to play it the way that we just saw. Use the back line as an extra defender and make sure they throw it over your head and not in front of you. In front of you means it's a touchdown. Over your head, you've got a much better chance. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, third down here. All right, Captain, is batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we just
has seen. I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. So a field goal here. They're still down, but they put a dent into that lead before the break. And that's got to feel good because now they've seen that they can put some more points on the board, and that gives them a whole second half to get back to where they want to be, and that's in the lead. All right, Brandon, we'll see if I can get through this without being skipped as we welcome you to our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Colts are trying to keep cool here at the Super Bowl. The 49ers have clearly been out of sorts at times with all of these turnovers, but in a tight game, it could still go either way. All right, let's roll those moving pictures. 49ers starting up on their opening drive. Here, the defense will come up with a pick. Taylor is the one who would run it back for the score. He'll take the early advantage. Now first and 10. Here the defense will come up with the pick. McLeod's in position, and he is the one who comes away with the ball. Now following the pick, Rawls has got it on the run, and this four-play drive goes for a touchdown. As they move out in front, 14-0. First and 10. Johnson's able to get clear of the defense. He gone as he sprints into the end zone. Now trailing by seven. Now first and ten. Cooper's got the catch with fumbles here. Following the fourth fumble. Elliott's got the catch here. And he'll take this all the way for a touchdown. We're brand new at 14. And with that, it's time to head back to field level as we're just one half away from deciding a Super Bowl champion. This one taken just inside the 10. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because... Now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. See if they do just that. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Yeah, every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 16 yards to pick up there. The Colts have a first down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. First down, this is Rawls. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Now we've got whistles and a flag. Looked like one of the Colts linemen might have jumped. False start, offense. Yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Second down and a little ways to go here. Second and 13. 89, 89. Here we go now. Play action. Now Trubisky. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Call it a one-yard gain of the play, and they'll be facing a third and 12. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. They go play action with Trubisky. Looking deep in the direction of... He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Obi Malafonwu. And the return this time will go out to the 
42-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? They begin the drive with Johnson. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. On third down, Johnson. And he gets this one across midfield for the first down to the 46. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. They go play action here on first down. It's caught outright by Graham. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, They'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Now, that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and add a little, little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. First carry for the former Tar Heel, Elijah Hood. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Let's go! They run again with Hood. Space to run past the 20. And he is out of bounds, but not before taking this inside the 10 to the 7. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. When big runs occur, sometimes there's a sense that things were pretty easy, and that one carried them down inside the 10. But getting into the end zone now, that won't be easy at all because you're going to face different defenses and not as much real estate to work with. Will they be able to run it, or will they have to throw it in order to try and score so they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Duke Johnson, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. He's given him a little jolt, just gave him the lead there, but two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. And now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead. So that drive goes eight plays. And in the end, it's capped off by a seven-yard run. Here's Dawson now to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. 
And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. He's likely still kicking himself from the interception last drive that wound up leading to a go-ahead score. And he's going to assume all that came with that one, all right? That's all on him, but he also knows he's got to erase it from his mind and get back out there. This drive, very important. And nearly picked off there, almost intercepted. Instead, second down. I think someone's going to get in the QB1's ear when he gets to the sideline. Already thrown an interception. That one should have been picked. Look, let's just be honest about it. That would be the second person in his ear because he's hearing it in the huddle right now. Not the start to the game he wanted. Like you said, the pick on the opening drive, second drive, not much better. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Trubisky breaks a tackle and down he goes the 49ers get there and I know it seems like we say this a lot in broadcast booths but a quarterback can hold on to the football too long in these situations I think he did right there oh I agree with you totally sometimes you have to understand situations get rid of the football save some yardage to make it less to gain for the next down instead he was so hipped on ball security he held on to it and took a big sack Let's see what they draw up here. Third and long following the sack of Trubisky. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Colts, so they've got the football, but they've got work to do, trailing here as we begin the fourth quarter. Now Trubisky on third and long. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's able to get up here to the 26. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Pulled in at the 24. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. We get a glance at Duke Johnson as he heads back out onto the field. He is knocking on the door for 100 yards in this ball game. And it's so important. It doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. Just short of it, a little bit over. A little bit over feels better to everyone. Offensive line, running back, team totals, just something magical about breaking that barrier. And he's right there on the doorstep now. <laughs> oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. First down carry here for Johnson. And he'll be stopped up quickly here at the 38. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brandon, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now. And here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football. And that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. A little antsy on the left side of the line. Yeah, I think they got the guy in the end. I think they got the DN there on that one. And let's face it, he is so amped up. Wanting to get a good get off on the snap. Jump too quickly. Let's go. 
Here's Watson now on second down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Elliott. And he gets it down to the 32. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. And a loss of three to bring up four. If you're the coaching staff upstairs, you might want to file that play away. Did you see how fast the safety closed on that one? Coming up in run support, made a big-time tackle. Might want to try and check into a pass next time. Yeah, got him for a loss. Really, really great play defensively. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And we move our focus to Thomas Rawls. So after that hot start, the numbers here show the decline. What has the defense done adjustment-wise? Sometimes when you have a running back who's gotten off to a hot start, you've got to catch him before he really gets going. So you change what you're doing across the defensive front. Instead of the linebackers being back a few yards, you bring them up closer. It's what we call mugging the line of scrimmage, taking away a lot of blocking angles and gaps, and maybe stopping him before he can get going. Mugging the line of scrimmage, okay. Yeah, in this case, he was looking for Thomas Rawls there. And now it's second down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. Again on second and ten, it's Trubisky. And that'll be incomplete. Austin Hooper, the tight end, was the intended target. And it's third down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. On third down, Trubisky. And that will be incomplete as well. I don't know, he had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. Or the mental focus. Yeah, that that's true. got to stay with it. That's true. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Fair catch called for and collected right at the 10-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the 49ers will take over deep in their own territory. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Defensively, no doubt they need a quick stop. Offensively here, maybe you put it in the air on second down, or do you go ahead and keep it on the ground, keep that clock moving? A lot of people would ask that question, partner, because sometimes throwing the ball might actually be the path of least resistance. But in this case, it's a matter of trust. How much do you trust your quarterback? Because you throw the ball and it goes awry, you really don't look smart as a coach. Yeah, and then you stop that clock. Here we go! 
Now we'll play fake, and it's Watson. And he finds a man with a crossing round. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass in. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. And at this stage of the game, time a factor, time on their side as they just try to eke out the final precious moments of this one. Now a play fake here on first down. Over the middle. It's incomplete. He was looking for Mohamed Sanu there. That'll bring up second down. When we talk with people about what we think the most important quality for an NFL quarterback to possess, what do people usually say? Arm strength. And he showed the arm strength there. Yeah, yeah pretty good bullet pass he threw, but he wasn't accurate, was he? <laughs> and he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Time for a break. We're back to perhaps crown a champion after this. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Going to need something special here on third and long. After that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? They'll hand it off now. Johnson. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And out of bounds, sailed over, looked like right near the pylon. This one's going to be perfect. Directional kicking at its finest right down at the one-yard line. And this offense led by Mitchell Trubisky going to make their way back out there. And here we go, partner. It's his time to shine. And I've yet to meet a quarterback who had any type of greatness, any type of longevity in the league. It didn't secretly love this type of an opportunity. To be the focal point, have a chance to take a team all the way downfield and win the game, that's when they get their stripes. Yeah, that's when they get their stripes, and he has to take them the length here. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. They'll look to throw. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And heavy contact. He is knocked down hard at the 16. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. He'll look to throw. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. And you can almost feel Trubisky saying, let's get to the line and hurry up. Back to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And now prior to this third and one, we're going to get a timeout here. As they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. He's back to throw. And it's complete. Hooper. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. And with just over 40 seconds now remaining, he gets up and spikes it. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Bruce Irvin in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Here's Trubisky. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. 
Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Here we go. It's Trubisky on fourth down. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that may write a finish to this Super Bowl. Uh, he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, I've, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bout. And the San Francisco 49ers will hoist the Lombardi Trophy as Super Bowl champions. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season. Super Bowl champs, the Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. What a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.